Hi guys, uh, this is Beto Chingon and today I'll be working inside this vehicle. This is a 2006 Nissan Titan. I'll be replacing this part here that is broken. Okay, this part here. Um, it's just so very brittle, you know, like that when you are doing something else here, you know, you might break something. This part is real strong, okay? But this part from the Nissan Titans, that is a problem. That is, a, to me, that's a design problem. Or I guess they want people to be buying and replacing these parts. Anyway, um, I'm also going to be putting speakers, but I don't have my speakers yet. But I have this part here. I purchased this on uh, eBay. So I'll be replacing that part. The other part that I need to replace, let me show you from the other side. And this is the other part that I need to replace from this dashboard. Okay. This center console here. Um... If you're doing something on this vehicle and you're done putting your elbows or part of your body here or somebody is in your vehicle and this vehicle is like this, you know, it's an older unit, a 2006, and it gets all brittle, you know, with time, well, this is real easy to break it. If somebody puts here, you know, whatever, their elbow or whatever, their arm, they might break your dashboard just to let you guys know. Okay, so anyway, I already have the new part. I'm going to be replacing it. The other part that I need to replace also is this part here, as you can see, one of the AC vents, you know, it's just not working anymore. This part, I think it works, but not this part. So I'll be putting another one. This one, I'll be probably gonna be making one out of another used unit. All these units will be new. This one is gonna be new. That other vessel for the, uh, for the gauges will be new too. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, okay? So plenty of work. And that's just the interior of this uh, Nissan Titan. I don't have the speakers yet. Like I said, I'm still waiting for the speakers to put new speakers. Okay, so let me pause this video and I'll start taking off parts. And I believe the first part that we need to take off will be this part here to take off this part and to be able to get to this one here. Okay, so let me first start taking off this part and we'll go from there. And let me get what I need for that. And for that, to make it a little bit quicker, we're gonna use electric uh, a battery uh, impact. I mean, a battery drill, my apologies. Okay, uh, by the way, let me lower it to one. It's too fast. Okay, that's that. The unit's loose already. And let's see the other side. And this is the second part, I mean, the second screw. So this unit is already loose there. And somebody else is holding it. Uh, normally it's just clips, okay? Yep, exactly what I was thinking. It's normally just clips. So you start putting pressure and those clips, they come off. There's one, another one there. And there are the there are the wires here. There's a connection here for this uh, um, switch to open the window. Okay, and this one here, we just need to release that cable there. And let me see what are the options here that we have. Mm -hmm. Normally it's just clipping something. And let me, that way I don't make it a real long video. And it, I know it's going to be a real long video, but let's pause this. That way I can take some time and figure out how to disconnect that cable. Okay, guys. So I already figured how to remove this uh, connector here. Basically, you just use a screwdriver. And there on the side of the plug, you know, there's a little square that you need to press in to be able to release it. So there, there we have it. So this part's off. Okay, and we'll keep going. Let's see what else we need to remove here. Okay, this one here, uh, by the ignition, it has a ring. It has a black plastic ring, and we need to remove it. So that one there, oh, we removed that one already under the seat. Okay. So this one also needs to be removed. And I'm putting everything on the back of the truck that way I'm not taking any space here and there. Okay.
okay. So, huh, that looks real simple. I'll probably have to see the new part to see what is actually grabbing here. As you can see, we have the switches. These switches, they need to be put on the new part. And I haven't even compared the parts. <laughs> anyway, let me get the new part and see it. Make sure that it's actually in good condition because I just received this part from the vendor. Make sure it's the right color too. It does look like the right color and it does look in good condition. Let me just make sure. Okay, it has the hole to the two switches here. So that is right. And has a hole for the ignition. So everything looks okay. The only thing is, not a big deal. This, okay, this plastic was out a little. So just push it back in, everything looks okay. Actually, this one actually looks even better than my old one. Because uh, my old one, let me see. Move the steering wheel down a little. Yeah, my old one, uh, it does have a plastic. Okay, also, the other thing we need to do, I need to put my key and open the ignition, that way I can bring the, the shifter down. That way I have room for this, to remove it. And let me see what else we have here. Oh yeah, it's got this other clip here, and the other one on the other side. So it actually has two more clips. Two on this side and one on this side. The other ones from the top, they're already off. All of them are loose, as you can see. So we have to loosen up. Oh, there are two clips on this side and two more on this side. Okay, so two more clips on each side. The one with the switches has a clip um, on the inner part here, and it has another one on this part here. So basically, like I said, we just need to wiggle this part and to take it off, make sure we don't damage something. Well, not much, not much we can damage. It's already broken. So, oh, let me just put a shifter down. And park it right here. Okay, and we need to press the brake. Now we can take the nice. The radio is off. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Not much more we can damage. It's already broken. Okay, it's coming off. Okay. So that side. Now, uh, let me put it in neutral. See if we can. No. Okay. Well, if I need to move it, I'll move it up. Okay, that's one of them. This side is already loose, so this side can come off. Um, like I was saying. The steering wheel, oh, okay, well, see, it's already broken, so not much to do there. So basically, we just put the new one, but we need to make sure that we can actually put the new one without breaking it. We don't want to have the same issues here. See, this is what I was telling you about these materials. You see, they're all brittle already. See that? Make sure we don't damage something else here. So we need, we need to make sure that we don't scratch our dashboard here. And this one's already off. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, we got it loose. So it's loose both sides. I mean, they didn't, they didn't come in a single piece here. So now we need to see what we need to do with the new one. Because, I mean, it's easy to break it and take it off like I did on this one. I need to make sure that I can actually take it off when you put it back without breaking it. So let's see. Uh, just gonna remove my keychain from my key, that way I can work with this. Let's see. And let's try this again. Okay. And this is all the way down. 
ready. Well, that's not good. I hope I don't have to do additional work just to get to this part to take it off. Might have to, because this is actually stopping this plastic here. And I don't know, like I said, it's the first time that I'm doing one of these, so I'm gonna have to remove this top plastic to be able to pull this out. And it's better if I do it. Okay, for that, I'm gonna flat here to remove this part here. So I can see there's a plastic here. It's like a cap. Yep, exactly, I knew it. So that one there, we're just gonna take it off with the drill here. more screws here. One. And two on this side. Okay. So now there was one there and two more here. One on this side and one on the other side. Actually, you know, I should move the camera closer to this side. That way you guys can see it because I think I'm blocking the view. So let me just move it. Hope you guys can see, but I hope you guys can see better what I'm doing here. Anyway, now this part here, I already removed those two screws there. And I don't see any other ones. Another cap there. So it might be another screw there. Let me see. I removed this little cap. I don't know if I need to, but I just did it. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Um, this is so loose already. So, uh, let me see. Now it's coming out. This part is off already, top part. Um, it has the rubber, the grass from the shifter, so I'm gonna have to just, oh, let me turn on this. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna have to remove this from this side, that way I can slide it, the shifter, take it off. Up this part, so it's already off. By the way, it's not broken. <laughs> okay, so that part's off. So now, by removing the top part, I might be able to remove this part too. But it looks like we need to need to uh, move it back in order to take out the key and move that part out of the way. Let's see. Take off 
this lower part here, this pan, I mean this part here that we remove, it's better we take it off. That was out of the way. Okay, over here and got it off. So this part is off too. Okay. So those two parts are off. Now I have more room to do this. Wiggle it. So let me see. Yeah, by having the key and the ignition, it stops me from uh, moving this, this uh, part here. By the way, it looks like we might have to remove the shifter here. Believe it or not, it looks like we might have to remove it. Because I cannot slide it out without bringing it this way. And if I put the key here, I have to push it down, and then I don't have room to slide it out. So I can see here there is a there is a, a, a bolt actually going to the shifter. And I might be able just to take it off. The way it you guys are sucking off. Oh no, no. no it's not. The emergency switch is here, so that there's nothing on. Oh, it's one of those uh, um, controllers for the AC units, you know. It makes noise. Probably have to replace one of those too. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. This car, I mean, this vehicle is a 2006, 2006 Nissan Titan, and it has about 93,000 miles. But honestly, this vehicle, everything starts hurting for them, you know? <laughs> uh, there are some uh, actuators, you know, that control your AC, you know, AC vents from inside, you know, like the air going, how, how the air cold air and all that. And Sometimes you'll be clicking, making noise. So that tells you it's almost time to replace it. I guess they're called actuators, whatever, you know, and they get messed up. Anyway, going back to this, I think I need to take off this shifter to be able to keep going. Uh, that's how I feel about this. And by the way, I have all these dashboard apart. I might be trying something, but I'll tell you guys about it when I get to it. Now let's figure out how to take off this part. Yeah, like I said, I think we need to take off the shifter. And that will do right now. Let me just get a socket. This one here, <laughs> kind of messed up that I'm taking the whole thing apart, but that's probably the only way that I can take off this piece. I don't know, there might be another way. If you guys know of any other way of doing it without removing this shifter, please let me know. Because, like I said, it's the first time that I'm doing it. So, if you ask me, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just taking it apart. Okay. Um, Okay, let's see. I can pick up this pen here. Bolt. And I don't think I can damage something, but we'll find out. And always when you're taking something apart, if you know what you're doing, you know, you can always put it together. I mean, let's hope I'm not opening it kind of warm here, but it looks like I'm going to be able to put it together without having any problems. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I have room now to take it off. Okay. Like, yeah, it's coming. Okay, so we're good. See, guys, that's what I was talking about. 
I needed to have some clearance there to take it out. Okay, this switch is here. They're just holding with. Uh, um, let me take a look at the new one. Actually, it has the brackets. Oh, nice. It has the brackets so I can just clip, clip those switches in. Hmm, nice. Okay, I like that. So, let me see that. I need a screwdriver, just a flathead, to pry on the, on the clips holding the switches. That way I can take them off. Let's see. This one's coming off. Simple. Very simple. And the other one. Okay. So this is the big switch. This big switch is the one going on the inner part. Okay. Then we'll take off the little one. And, and like I said, you just need a flathead for this. So we're learning as we go, okay? Not like, okay, this is the way somebody else is doing it. No, no, no. I'm doing it. I'm breaking parts as you can see, but we're doing it. Okay, that part is off. So, if that part is off, I might be able to install this one. So, let's see what we have here. Okay, nice. Oh, man, this is nice. Look at that. Look at the difference. The other one came off, this one just went in like that, that's so weird, anyway, we said this is the inner part, and just uh, like a dimmer switch that we have here for the dim the lights, okay, Remember, I purchased this on eBay. These are some Chinese parts, you know. I don't know how good the quality is. And just by looking at this, trying to put this switch here, clip it, it doesn't grab that good. Probably better off keeping the bracket from my old from my old vest here and putting it on this one because this one doesn't clip. See, it's grabbing on the lower part, but it's not grabbing on the top. So that means the clip is not that good on this part. The good thing about it, I have the old one, so I can just use that one. Not mess wrong with this. So, that will be something that we need to do to make this part work. If we don't, this part is not going to hold my switch properly. Let me see if I can just push it in or something. But it oh, oh, came out just like that. That's some words, like I said, I'm putting the other one. That's this one here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The clip is no good. And it's the part that comes from the dashboard. It's no good. So I'm better off just taking the other one apart and reusing that part. This is the bracket that holds the switches. It's no good. So let me get to it because, yeah, came off. Yeah, this part here, this part here, it doesn't really grab that well with those switches. So the good thing about it is my old part still has a good one of this. So I'm just gonna take off these two screws and put my, my old part there. But just to make sure that I don't damage something, I'm gonna lower my, my drill to one. Oh, 
port, and then we have to replace that. I mean, oh, see? That one there has only Phillips screws. This one has some torques. 